to my channel. Today we're going to be doing these, uh, I guess you could call them bezels. Um, I use them to do my clay pendants, just like so. See how cute these are? We're going to be making the bigger one today. It's the same concept. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to be needing uh, to make these um, 18 gauge wire. Um, I already pre-cut mine. Um, I do mine about about 22 inches long. Okay. You're gonna be need, you're needing something round, um, whatever desired shape you want. Um, I wanted mine to be pretty big. So as you can see, I used um, this old pill bottle. So you're gonna be using to shape it. Um, you're gonna be needing a um, anything round. I'm using a brush. You can use a pen, pencil, whatever is round. Um, a wire cutter, um, a plier, and of course a ruler. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I pre-cut my wire already. So what I want to do is I'm going to measure up to 18 inches, okay? And then I'm going to put my finger. So from here to here is 18 inches. So that means I have this left over. At that point, um, I want to make sure that I bend up until where my finger is. So it's going to be 18 inches just like that, okay? So if I measure this piece that I've just folded, It's going to be nine inches and I wanted to make sure that it was correct okay because you're going to bend it at the 18 inch mark giving you 18 inches to work with okay so what we're going to do is you take your pen or whatever you're going to use a brush this is going to determine the size of of your hook here so just keep that in mind okay and that's, that's why I like this because it has different sizes and I'll just put it wherever the desired point I want so I'm gonna put my right about there. So you hold that down and then with your other end, you're gonna take your pliers, okay? You make sure this is nice and straight and you just wanna hold it down like this, okay? Nice and tight. What I do is I leave about an inch. Um, actually, I would leave a little bit longer, about two inches. Um, because this is going to be what you use to do the second hook because I do it with two hooks. Okay, so two inches, all right, insert, a little bit of a balancing act here and you just start to twist, okay? You just start twisting. And this is gonna give it that, make sure it's nice and tight like that. It's gonna give it that, I call it the braided look, it looks like it's braided, okay? So you just turn and turn and turn. I'm gonna do it off camera here because it's difficult. Um, I have a tight spot. But you can see what's going on here. It's just making it really pretty. So this is up to you when you wanna stop. I like to make my braids pretty tight looking. Okay, I like that effect that it gives. So I'm gonna keep it going, keep it going. You can see this end, how it's starting to look. Okay, keep it going. Again, this has to be nice and tight here. Okay. And I think about three more twists. When you're starting to see it like bend, you know that you're getting, you know, to a point where you can't do it anymore. So let's stop right there. Okay, so this hole right here, I like it a little bit smaller. So what I do is, I hold, actually I don't have to even use this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and just twist like twice and that's good enough. I think it's a pretty good size. All right, so then what you wanna do is you take your pill bottle, okay? You hold this down with your thumb nice and tight and you start firmly, make sure it's straight and you just start bending it over. It's very pliable, the 18 gauge, so it's, it's not gonna be hard. If I have muscular dystrophy and I can do this, you can certainly do this, okay? And I have a little bit of hand problems, but okay. So, you just nice and tight. Can you see that pretty shape? Look at that, love it. All right, then what you wanna do is, you take your round hook here and you gently pull it up, okay, just like so. 
what I like to do is I like to take this wire and insert it back in here like this okay just like that if it gets out of whack don't worry you can easily come back and just shape it nicely okay that's not a problem now what you want to do is this hook right here you bend it down that's going to be your support system for your clay um, I noticed that when I didn't use this little extra hook here I use um, por cold porcelain and it shrinks 10% so it detached itself from the actual bezel I used resin to fix the problem because I didn't put a hook here but with this one I did add the hook and even though it does shrink for some reason it stood attached so this piece here is imperative at least if you're going to be using um, clay that shrinks. If you, if you use clay that doesn't shrink, then you're fine. All right. So then what you want to do is now, now we're going to form the second hook. All right. So all you got to do is place it in here like so and go over just like that. Okay. Make sure it's even. Play around with it. You want both the holes to, to be equal. Okay. Just like that and then what you want to do is you just want to just start wrapping around okay so take a little bit of manipulation here just like that and you can just start wrapping around and that's why I leave that extra uh, after the 18 inches because that gives it this pretty effect like this and I kind of like that. If you don't like that, then you would obviously, you don't need to have all that extra wire that I that I left, okay? But I find that that amount works well for me. See that? Love the look. What you can do is you can insert this here to make sure you don't cover too much of the hole, just like that, and just keep going around, okay? When you get to the end, you just start coming along with your uh, pliers and you kind of like help it along. Okay, just like that. You want to kind of tuck that in so it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anybody. Like that. You can go ahead in here and just stick that in there just like that. And my friends, that is it. Look how pretty that is. And you can come up with these great creations. Just have fun with it. There's no right or wrong. Okay, so God bless and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.